Uh, he's uh, he is a fish photographer, right filmmaker. But tonight he's doing something a little bit different. He's going to be entertaining yep. you with his humor and his words. Please put your hands together for David Cow! Alright, uh, our first date, how's it going? Enjoying the night so far? You uh, ready for some of the jokes? <laughs> Finish your homework? Yeah. You all know me? Yeah, good. So, uh, I was trying to get here uh, to show up earlier, like the first half of the show. You know, so I had to finish earlier, getting back to the pizza. But uh, we got a poetry reading from there. By the way, that poetry reading is pretty good. You guys think so? Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because I didn't get it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of easy for me to tell whether a book, a poetry, an article is good or not. No, seriously. Whatever it makes you feel like, what the hell is it talking? <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> There's a example. Our textbooks, hundreds of dollars. How much do you understand? <laughs> but to me, probably nothing. Anyway, uh, my name is David. I was born and raised in China for 21 years straight before I came here to college. And uh, yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, uh, I once was having a conversation with my mom in the library when she was calling me and uh, there's a dude beside me in the library over here and there's a friend over here and he was like, damn, that nigga said drink. What? Whatever. Okay. So, uh, Unexpected twist. Anyway, my is good. Right? Uh, I came here to Alfred from a city. I was, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a city. Yeah. And uh, Alfred is kind of very good. I, I, I think we got blue skies, we got, we got uh, fresh air. No, seriously, in, in the city where I live, I, I have um, 11 million population, and it's very dusty. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Alright? So, um, every day, you know, there was a time, there was a time uh, when I was laying on my bed, you know, look at the sky, I was like, damn, you guys got Beautiful environment over here. And I just look at that. My roommate is like, David, you okay? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You don't sound like Because you know, uh, some celebrities, that's what they do before they kill themselves. <laughs> anyway, uh, my name is David. My mom named me after David. You guys know David, right? The guy in the Bible who killed Goliath with a stone using special weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's, uh, he's kind of a glorious historical figure. But Chinese parents don't do that. My mom got balls. Um, and also Chinese little kids, they don't know anything. I wrote all that stuff. But my mom, she's a pastor, anyway. And um, so I was curious about this David. I was like, Mom, I was, I was like seven years old. Who the hell is that guy who named me that? <laughs> my mom's like, oh, Killing is too early for you. Damn. Okay, um, yo, so he killed a hawk with a skill. <laughs> Killed a hawk with a ski. Guys, I was only seven. Alright, damn, Daniel. 
that's fancy, right? So I started to promote this, this, this story. I started to promote this uh, historical figure, like uh, with a sword, a shield, a um, something like 300 plus a pack of skin. <laughs> <laughs> and especially the girls, uh, I just tell them all, right? So, and uh, yeah, that's, that's when I first kind of tried to get girls. It didn't go well, but at least I tried. And um, after a couple of days, after a couple of, couple of weeks, actually, we, uh, we were talking about renaissance in class, right? And we got all those PowerPoint showing up. And all, all of a sudden, this uh, lovely statue showed up on the PowerPoint, right? It looks like this. <laughs> and uh, what's worse is that it has my name underneath, both English and Chinese. And the Chinese part is exactly how my name is written, because that's the official translation of that, right? So the whole class just turned around and me like this. <laughs> the guy next to me is like, David? I think he's naked. <laughs> oh, so embarrassed, right? I was just <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, that's my one of my horrible childhood part of memories. <laughs> After I got here, you know, there's something quite the same to my to my home, right? Uh, you know, we we all got those friends, different kinds of friends. And, uh, there's always one of them who will like to say. See, I told you. Right? Whenever something embarrassing happens on you, whenever something bad happens on you, like you spill your coffee, hey, see, I told you, don't feel it. You get your parking ticket, see, I told you. You failed your test, see, I told you. <laughs> Another thing is that when I get to New York City, uh, I was kind of excited, you know. But uh, it's, it's really like my home. We got buildings, we got streets, fancy streets, and uh, we got all kinds of people. My friends would say, David, we're in New York City. Look at that. Look at that, man. Look at the buildings. Look at that. And I was like, oh. 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 Yeah. It looks like my home, seriously. Um, the only thing different is how people the street, right? So I've been talking about this to my friends a lot. You know, in the on the street we got those lights like this and this, right? Just for for the for the street uh, for the, for people to cross on the street, which is pretty good. But in China, we don't give a shit about that. <laughs> in China, when you want to cross the street, you gather a group of people and you just go. <laughs> Right, so, uh, and of course we have to, seriously, it's, it's, it's just like a mini version of Lord of the Ring. <laughs> so when I was three years old, my dad wanted me to study English. And, because uh, I was so fascinated in dinosaur when I was three years old, right? So my dad was talking to my mom, like, you know, honey, we should show you a dinosaur movie, Jurassic Park. <laughs> but the part is that I was so fascinated in dinosaur rather than the English conversation. Right? My dad was like, David, you're gonna sit here and you're gonna look at those conversations. No, look at those movies, alright, and listen to their conversations. And I was like, oh. Uh, okay. I didn't even know what English is yet. I was only three years old. So the first, uh, well, after all, it's, it's, a, it's a hollow thing, right? So the first foreign language that I ever learned in my whole life is how to roll like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem is, my father didn't know. He thought that I was learning basic English, uh, English phrases like uh, hello, my name is, or help, whatever. So uh, there was this one day, uh, one of my father's friends, he, uh, he showed up, and my father wants to kind of 
show off a little bit. Right? So he was whispering to me, yo, my son's studying English by watching films. Alright? You wanna show them? You wanna look at them? Like, they did come in. And I was like, yeah, what? Uh, show, show, uh, show, 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 that's what Chinese fans do, you know. They just make you do stupid shit. And, uh, and I was like, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> and now there's something wrong, so I said, well, you don't like the T-Rex one? Okay, I'll give you another one. Um, I met that, my dad was so embarrassed, but right? he was like, <sighs> And my mom, she's right beside him, she was whispering to me, like, see? Told ya. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my name is David, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a good night.